Welcome to my channel. Are you an old keyboard owner? And if you are, did you find yourself wanting to try the latest Node Piano sample but had no storage room to upload it to your Node? That's exactly what I'm going to address today. How to manage your law library in such a fashion that you make the most of your available storage memory, regardless whether your Node is the latest model, today is the Node Piano 5, or is one or two or a few generations old. After that, I'm going to share what my favorite Node Grand Piano samples are and why. If you follow this channel, you would have already watched my previous Node Grand Piano Factory presets, where I demo how the Grand Piano Factory preset sounds on Node Piano 5 and what you get with different Node sample sizes. Therefore, you might want to watch that video first for context and then come back to this one. If you are a musician or simply into music with an affinity for pianos, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding on how to be a good steward of your Node sound library and also get a sneak peek into which Node Grand Piano samples are my favorites and why. Here are some of the prerequisites which I assume you have already completed. You would have had the Node Sound Manager software already installed on your PC or Mac. You have the physical USB cable that came with your Node keyboard and you've installed the latest firmware available for your Node keyboard. Having the latest OS running on your Node keyboard doesn't just give you fixes to issues identified after your version was released, but also enables you to use different versions of samples from different sound libraries generations. For example, when Node Piano 3 was released, there was no version 6 of Node Sound Library. With the latest firmware upgrade, you can now use the latest Grand Piano samples like White Grand on the Node Piano 3. The challenge we are looking to address is how to optimize and prioritize which samples to keep in your memory in which sizes so that you can make the most of the available memory in your Node keyboard. Let's just take Node Piano 4, for example, versus Node Piano 5. For Node Piano 4, the Node Piano library memory is one gigabyte in size, while the Node Piano 5 comes with two gigabits of memory. The Node keyboard memory for the piano model is divided into banks, one allocated for the piano samples and one for the synth samples. Traditionally, the synth sample memory has been half of the piano allocated memory in size, as the piano requires sampling of each single key, and on top of that, a good piano sound will be able to facilitate string resonance and damper sound. The Node Sound Manager software enables you to easily organize and back up the memory of your Node instrument. Providing you've installed the Node USB driver for the Windows operating system and the Node Sound Manager software, let's now connect to the Node Piano 5 and launch the Node Sound Manager. What you see on the screen now is the Node Sound Manager. One thing to mind is when Node uses the term upload and download, the reference is the keyboard. So when you upload sounds, you upload them from the focus partition in the instrument. When you download, you don't download from the keyboard, like as if you were downloading from a web server, you actually download a sound to the focus partition in the instrument. So just keep this in mind. So the terms upload and download are used in reference to the keyboard, the keyboard storage memory. Now to the left side of the screen, you have the piano and the sample li library. You have the piano, the sample library and the programs. The piano memory bank for the Note Piano 5 is two gigabits. In here you will find all the types of piano so that would be grand upright electric clavinet misc and all other type of pianos in the sample library you'll have all other instruments you'll have all the synth the pads all other instruments in the program you will have the programs 
which are your predefined presets and combinations. When you go to the piano bank memory, you will see how much is being used and how much you have available. In my case, you can see I'm using all the 2 gigabit and I only have 12.2 megabytes free. So think in terms of 1024 megabytes is 1 gig. 2 gig will be twice that amount, so 2048 megabytes. So as you can see, there are 38 pianos in total. Now, let me share with you my workflow. The first thing that I did in my prioritization was to count how many times in the last three months or six months I've been using the upright pianos. And I realized I never used any of them. In that case, I realized that's where I can save some memory to make up for the grand pianos. I went into the upright piano section and I've tested all of them one by one. I love the most the Amber upright large piano, which is um, sample after a Stenway wall piano. Initially, when the no piano comes, it comes with this sample Amber upright in extra large size. I changed the Amber upright to large to gain half of its original size in memory and then I looked at all the other upright pianos. After a few tests I realized I like the mellow upright piano so I kept that one in medium size and then I changed everything else to small and in this way I managed to make more room for the grand pianos. Here's what my thinking was in terms of the grand pianos. My most loved grand piano samples are all the ones you see with extra large. Probably at the top would be the white grand, which is sample after a Steinway B, with no EQ, that's how I like to play it, and also no reverb effects. So very clean, exactly as it, it's been sampled. The next one is the Royal Grand 3D. The Royal Grand 3D is sampled after Yamaha S6. I just add a touch of EQ on the treble side to brighten it up. And then I go with the reverb. I'm using the whole reverb to 2.5 or 3 at the max for the Royal Grand 3D. And then I've tested carefully multiple grand samples and decided which one I love as a grand piano. And as you can see, the next extra large I have is Silver Grand. The Silver Grand is sampled after the Kawai SK7. And the way I use this one, I use it with and without the EQ enabled. Next grand piano sample that I love is the Bright Grand. The Bright Grand has been sampled after Yamaha S4. I use this with the EQ on, but I've only add a touch of bass in the EQ and I keep the reverb on. I love the brightness and the crispness of this grand piano. This is probably the one that I'm using the most recently. This will be my top most used grand piano samples. White grand, royal grand, silver grand and bright grand. That's why you see them all in XL version. So the difference between extra large and large is that in the sample every single note has been mapped to the original acoustic piano. When you look at the rest of my grand piano samples, all of them are in large size. From the large size that you see in this list, Soft Grand, Grand Imperial, Studio Grand 1, Studio Grand 2 and Grand Lady D samples. The next one I prefer the most is the Studio Grand 1, which has been sampled after the Yamaha C7. And I also love the base of the Grand Imperial. So what I do with this, large samples, I use the multi-layer and I combine them with one of the extra large in different proportions and in different orders. For example, the soft grant will make a great foundation to the bright grant or even to the studio grant or even to the silver grant. So that's how I'm uh, approaching this. What do I plan to do when the next grand piano sample is going to be released by Nord? Of course, it depends on how it's going to sound. But if I like it, 
the first that's going to go is going to be the Grand Lady D. So Grand Lady D is going to be replaced by the new whatever Grand Sample node is going to release next. When you look at this column version, that's the library version or the sample version. The version 5 of a sample will be smaller than version 6. But the price for that would be that you won't be able to enable dynamic compensation for the version 5 Grand Sample. Does it matter to me? No, it doesn't, because I'm, I will not be using dynamic compensation on a grand piano. The most unique feature of a piano as an instrument is its dynamic range. So enabling dynamic compensation for me, it's not an option because that would remove a great dimension and the great value that the piano brings as an instrument in any setting. One thing to keep in mind as best practices when you are using the Node Sound Manager, when you bring a new sample, please consider to use the substitute option. When you look to your right side, you will see where this sample is used in which programs. So this particular sample is going to be linked into different products. So like Royal Grand 3D XL, is used in all these 15 programs. If you just delete it and then upload the new sample, you'll have to manually link it into these programs, which is going to be time consuming. If you use the substitute option, whatever you substitute this sample with is going to be linked to those programs that the original Royal Grant was linked. Nine out of 10, I will use the substitute option. This should give you a sneak peek into my favorite Grant samples and also into how I managed to get four of the latest grand piano samples in extra large size onto the Note Piano 5, while the rest of the grand pianos, I keep them in large version. Hope you found this insightful. Please use the comment section to ask any questions around this topic and provide your feedback. With that, let me wrap it up with what we've covered today. We looked at some of the best practices and things to keep in mind for a wise node sound library management and then i've shared the grand piano sample i use the most and why there you have it how to best manage your node sound library i'm stan and this was fun if you found this video insightful and would like to see more click that like and subscribe button see you next time